How y'all doing? Woo! <laughs> it's Tommy Hawk, my little brother. Myself, uh, I'm Gandalf. We're hiking across, we're starting off at 136 Snake Creek Gap. Let you look at the sign here. Snake Creek Gap. Yep, yep. And we're gonna hike over to Pilcher's Pond. It's cold, it's probably what, about 38, 37 degrees, something like that. Pretty cold, but me and Hawk here, we're not scared. We're gonna set out another hiker box. Probably about halfway in between. Won't be too bad. You guys wish us luck. We got a late start, so Tommy and I, Hawk, it's 5.39, sun goes down at 5.55 it says. So we got roughly 15 minutes a day while I left. Uh, what we'll do is when it starts getting to where it's hard to see, we'll break out the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Headlamps, yeah. Of course, me and Mendez, Johnny Mendez, did eight miles yesterday on the Penhati, Penhoti. What was intriguing about today, Tommy had a good idea. He said, let's go in reverse. Let's go backwards on it. Because I've never been from this side in. I mean, I've been on this, this part of the trail a couple times, three times now, but I have never uh, walked from this direction back. That should be interesting. Me and my younger brother here, we have been on several, a, an adventure together. So, it looks like we got two trails here. I don't think that one's it. Do you? This is it, it's gotta be, cause this part's clear. That's growing up bigger than crap.
I see the mark earlier, brother. Yeah, yeah, the blaze. I remember I was trying to argue with you that time because you were saying Bit Macaw was the triangle or diamond or whatever it was and the rectangle was the Appalachian Trail. And in my mind, I knew I was right and you were wrong. But you were right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because when you were talking about it and I pointed out and you said, nope, you're wrong. This is it. And I said, oh, you're wrong. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a sign of wisdom. I'm growing. I can accept being wrong sometimes. A lot of times. That's beautiful, ain't it, little brother? See, guys, this is what it is. This is, this is what it's all about. And if you guys want to come along for the ride, just holler. Me and Tommy, the men hog, we don't mind. The more the merrier. And if I get to walking too fast, throw a stick at me, tell me to slow down, I don't care. And if I'm going too slow, well, I probably can't speed up. I got a turtle speed, that's about all I got in me. Maybe, maybe faster, I could probably go faster, but, whew. Man, you had a good idea, Tommy. Coming in from this end. I like it. Well, we'll get the box set out. At least we officially got the fourth box out. And that's cool. And getting to that fourth box, ladies and gentlemen, either way you go, it's gonna be hard to get. Cause this, I believe it's gonna be a little bit more than halfway, which means you'll have a uh, heck of a trek getting back to it, or getting to it. I see a blaze. Look at this scenery. Beautiful mountains in the backdrop. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pinhoti. It spans 335 miles. It starts on Flag Mountain in Alabama, about middle ways, and it runs all the way to uh, Springer Mountain on jo in Georgia. And right now, me and Hawk, we're on the uh, Snake Creek Gap going toward filters pond section of it now if you're doing a nobo hike of the uh, Pinhoti, which is northbound you'd be going the opposite direction right now me and brother here we're going to uh we're in the direction of heading toward alabama right now so we would be if we continued on to to alabama there'd be a southbound hike would be sobos southbound hikers me and johnny ran into a northbound hiker he didn't have a trail name on dugout mountain section his name or he 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 just went by his regular name jacob and he uh he was completing a complete uh through hike on it amazing when you think about 335 miles that's quite quite the endeavor Anybody wanting to warm up for the Appalachian Trail, I mean, hey, here's the Pinhoti. Perfect warm up because I'm telling you, anybody that's ever did any time on the Pinhoti knows the, uh, the altitude changes, knows the climbs you have. So it's a great, it's a great fine tuning hike. My research, I've been studying a lot about hiking. And one of the things you gotta be careful for of when it's cold weather like this is uh, dehydration. Because you're cold and you don't realize that you're thirsty. So 
you gotta remember to drink. Look at that, ain't that pretty? Yeah. Now we're kind of leveled off for a minute, which is fine with me, ain't you? Chesty got me some good shoes here to go hiking with. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're a Lone Peak Ultras 3.0s. They're an older brand of Ultras, but uh, man, I do like them. I can see what the fuss is about. Plenty of room in the tow box. Uh, good, comfortable fit. Now, I like Solomon's. And I like Merle's, I do. But the uh, Ultras are pretty cool. And I'm in no way, shape, or form affiliated with the uh, Ultra. For the Holy Blaze, we're going on the right path. Where you at, Pride? Me and Hawk could have used you. Even though it had the turkey's foot, still got a Penholdi blaze. The Penholdi is beautiful at dusky dark. Here about another 20, 30 minutes, me and Hawk will have to break out the headlamps. This part of the trail ain't as bad as some of the other parts of the Penhody. Like the dug gap section is real rocky. This is pretty rocky, but not as bad. But still, when you take away your vision, you can wind up doing a, a big fall. And, you know, you'd be pretty high up. My brother's kicking tail. Proud of him. Sometimes, guys, it's good just to take in the beauty. It's good to stop and just look where you're at. Because we got a destination, we got a point and place we're going. We're going to Pitcher's Pond. But we don't need to lose sight of the journey, of the steps we're taking to get there. I've done that so much in my life and I've talked on it before in the past. You've got to, uh, you got to be mindful of where you are. In the moment I had two kids grow up, one's 25 and one's 24, soon one will be 26 soon. And now I was there, I was part of it. I got wonderful, great memories of all of it, but it's gone now. And if I go back in time, one thing I would do different is cherish each moment. 
I feel like I was a good daddy, but those little moments I would have uh, held on to a little bit harder. Just like with this trail, kinda. I mean, not as special as my kids being young, but uh, this trail special. I mean, these little moments, dusky dark. The leaves on the ground, the trees without leaves, the mountains in the backdrop. And I'm getting to do this with my time. So this is special with my little brother. I mean, me and him, we've been in Panama Canal Zone together. We've been at Niagara Falls together. We've had a lot of big moments in life, so I'm doing this with him, so it's even more special. You gotta take stuff like this in and soak it in. Plus, when I push myself walking up hills, I feel closer to God. I'm humbled. So, this is really spiritual as well. And even though I've done this trail multiple times, each time's different. I mean, the same steps, the same place, it's different. Look at those mountains. And guys, anytime you wanna come along, just holler. If we didn't have to work tomorrow, Hey, could we just camp out? But, little brother and me, we got work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, take you a gander. You like it? Look how pretty. Beautiful out here. If you look, you can see the sun's going down behind the mountains there. Let's take a moment, take all that in. Oh Lord, I'm sweating. Here in a little while, I'm gonna have to cut this GoPro off and uh, put my headlamp on. But once it gets really dark, we're not gonna get a lot of footage on the trail anyway. I think it's cool to see the sun in the background, the mountains in the background. Uh, but when it's dark, it's dark. Oh, look at over there. Beautiful, beautiful area. I don't know if y'all can see the city lights. You can hear a hawk in the background singing the journey song when the lights go down in the city. <laughs> journey was really big in our childhood. We used to listen to KZ 106 a lot. That was real special. Chesty said, I took her the footage of Johnny, mine and Johnny's hike on the dugout, because we went 
Remember how like, we used to do it? We'd go way past where that campsite was. We'd just keep walking. Me and Johnny did that. Huh? Yeah, we're way past that. And I recorded almost the whole time. And I brought in Chester. He goes, you got an hour and 50 minutes worth of footage. <laughs> it's hilarious. Hey, you trump it down. You get the pleasure of watching every minute. Kind of like that Loverboy song, loving every minute of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let that be, let, let, don't be uh, deceived. It's going to be a challenge getting to this box. The other boxes aren't easy. The one on Buzzard's Roost is not, not easy by no means. The one on the, and I made this a five. A five of spades a little bit harder than the dug gap section that we put the first box out at you know we made that a four of spades but uh still ain't too too bad hey chasty hey on a sec hey baby chasty yeah I got you on the video. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. I got you on the video. Uh, You're right by the uh, GoPro now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the campsite. We're gonna put out our other uh, pinholy box. You'll, you'll be able to tell it because it's got this little seat here, this homemade seat the fire ring to the top of a hill and it's going if you're go, coming from uh filters pond to snake creek it's to your right if you're coming from snake creek to filters it's on your left in the dark it's easily it's easy to miss me and uh hawk we about missed it ourselves so here is the box you do me a favor little brother yes. will you open these up and let's let's show them what we got We'll take a minute, we'll show them what we got inside our, our penholdy. This is box number four, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back up here and put some cards in it. In my infinite wisdom, I forgot cards. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Uh, what we have in this box. We have a journal. This is box number four. Quattro for my Espanol brothers. We're going to have a baseball card in it, some Trivial Pursuit cards, and it's the five of spades because this is harder than the dug gap hike we did. We do to the to box number one, but it's not quite as hard as uh, Buzzard's Roost, honestly, to get here. But me and Hawk's starting to question that a little bit now. Cause it, it wasn't as easy as I recalled to get up here. So remember, box number four. I'll have some cards, and I'm gonna have you to break. Got a bullet in there too. Yeah, got a bullet. Johnny Mendez inspired me. And why you put a bullet in the last one? Because it's, it's survival. Like you got this little campsite, you can knock the head of the bullet off and use the uh, uh, gunpowder to help start a fire. Yeah, die. Yeah, to die. Six sided die. Take whatever you want except for the log, guys. Just leave something in this place, if you will. And I'll have some of our business cards in there. Remember, collect all four, get a shirt or a patch, or all five rather, get a shirt or a patch. Collect, uh, and the first one to do them all gets a $50 gift card. So, where shall we put the box? Um, I'm going to put it some relatively easy spot because I want you guys to find it. That's what I was thinking. Like right under it. You can slide it right under it, or you can go to the side of it and slide it under the side, whichever one you felt more comfortable. What about here? Or here? Well, that one lock it down. Turn it on the side, just slide it under it. Oh, yeah. So, guys, our box is right there. You know, water or anything you think will get in? Nah, it should be waterproof. 
Plus, I got everything in there in a baggie, so waterproof or a Ziploc bag. So, so there's our fourth box, guys. Now, box five, soon to come. We'll pick up on the trail. That's Hawk. And I'm Gandalf. Hope I ain't blind him. Uh, Sorry, you're okay. And we'll get back on the trail. Got me and a uh, hawk here. We're still walking down the Penhody. It's cold, but not. I say it's cold. It physically is cold, but believe it or not, me and him's pretty warm. Uh, I guess because we're moving, you know. But what a blessing! We've had such a good time on this trip. Uh, God bless us. Get to spend good quality time with him and. Uh, you know, nothing like spending time with your brother. Too close. Uh, I keep my other brother out here, Taylor. I like spend time with him out here on the trail. He's a, he's a young daddy. And me and, me and Hawk there, we've both been young daddies. We know how it is. Chastity had to go visit her. Uh, or had to stay with her grandmother a little bit. Brought him something to eat. Took the family something to eat. So... We're having a blast. Having a good time. And I'll quit yammering. Get back on the trail. My favorite Penhody sign. Why, you may ask? Because it's in one of my other videos, if you hadn't seen it. I miss this big old Penhody sign. I'm going through, walking fast, trying to get a good time, looking at my GoPro, messing around with it. And I miss this big mamma jamma right here. I miss that Penhody sign. And I travel down that trail. Uh, probably for a good mile. And, uh, two German Shepherds got after me. It, it was, uh, pretty intense. And then it hit me, uh, going the wrong way. And I always think back to that, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Well, how do they know where I'm going? Y'all might be too young for that. But anyway, uh, so luckily I've got the gut hook app. It's got the whole pin hoodie on it. And I just, uh, Pulled it out and I seen where I was at. And bam. Got back on the trail, come back seeing that sign, felt like an idiot. But uh that's something to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen. If you got, if you're gonna do the whole Pinhody, the whole AT, the Pacific Crest, the Continental Divide, any big trail, download Gut Hook and uh, use that app. It's amazing. And another good tool, another good resource is all trails. It uses GPS just the same, you know. So, there's that. Anyway, I'll quit yammering. Well, me and Hawk here, we're going to check out our hiker box and see if anybody else has signed it. If they haven't, no big loss because it's only been out for a little while. And it is pretty far out. Yeah, blowing out like this. Do I really? Yeah, no I, Oh, it's somebody else put stuff out there then. Ha <laughs> Dude, that is so flipping cool. Yeah, it is. That's my balls. That's Gary O. Robertson. Ha ha ha. Hey, thanks for playing, Gary. Man, it means the world to me. That's all I want. Yeah. That is so cool. Big old tree, ain't it, guys? Gary put a bullet in there. Great minds think alike, Gary, because we put a uh, a bullet on the one up from here. Right now, this looks out of the place. Or, uh... No, no. It's all still there, but... That is so cool, dude. Ha! Ha, what a blessing. People are playing. I love it. Oh, day. You know day is? Today's the 18th, I think. I'm gonna say the show. It might not be, it might be the 19th. Today's the 19th. And guys, I forgot to say the date earlier. It is Sunday, uh, January the 19th. 
man, this has been a fast month. Can I lay something in there? Nah. So I might have a placard, but. <laughs> what? A placard. Nah, I'm taking them out. Those little floss sticks. Yeah. I did have a bunch of those. <laughs> <over. laughs> yeah. Floss your teeth, guys. That's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. People are playing. I love it. It's good. We did good. You did good. Well, time to get off this Ten Hote Trail. We are glad we made it this far. Now it's just one easy mile out to Tommy's truck, Hawk's truck, and we're home free. Another excellent adventure. What? 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 Well guys, it's January the 19th. It is now 8.27 p.m. Me and Tommy, me and Hawk, we just did from Snake Creek Gap to Pilcher's Pond. Uh, what is that? It's 7.3, 7.4 miles, counting the, the walk from the pond to the truck. We uh, did good. Tommy did really good. He's probably a lot less tired than I am. I'm old. No, I'm real tired. <laughs> anyway, it was a blessing. Uh, had, had a blast hanging out with Tommy, and I always have fun with him. He's just, since we were little, we've always had a good time. Anyway, this this concludes week. I think it's 20, is it 23, 24. Chad still updated update for me. Anyway, we'll see you guys uh, next week. God bless.